During World War I, Canada had to deal with major shortages of food and other valuable resources because most of it was shipped to Europe for our soldiers on the Western Front. The Canadian government introduced resource reducing days to minimize Canadian citizens' overall food and resource consumption, such as meatless Mondays and fuelless Friday Sundays. Canada's government also introduced honor rationing where people would limit themselves to a pound and a half of butter and two pounds of sugar a month. There also was a ban on selling and drinking alcohol. The government also suggested living plainly and saving every cent, and do without everything. They also wanted people to work hard, wake up early, and just be content with living plainly. The government emphasized the need for Canadians who could not fight on the Western Front to do their part for winning the war, which meant Canadians had to cut down on luxurious, unnecessary expenditures, save money, and work harder to produce the materials and resources needed to win the war in Europe. Small books for people living in Canada during World War Wartime made by the government would write things such as every citizen who's using more in, it, in his household than he actually needs is increasing the cost of living for those less fortunate and he is hindering the one prosecution of war which may have tried to guilt people into saving some of the books would even include an estimate on how much the cost of living would be for each year it would also have information on the necessity and benefits of food and how your body uses it to turn it into energy and for you to grow. The list also has calories needed for people doing certain jobs and how many calories different types of food have. That's our Heritage Minute.